Today, I'll show you my tool that lets you bake custom hotspot trim sheets directly in Blender. It'll take your props from looking like this to this. Once you open the file, you'll see a standard principled BSDF shader with a new node group plugged into it called Hotbox. You know, cause like baking. In the 3D viewport and outliner, you'll see six collections. Each one of them has a trim sheet template. I scoured the internet finding the most useful patterns for hotspot trims, and these are the six I ended up with. Let's start by enabling just number four. It has a good amount of variety. You really only need one image to get this whole thing to work. Let's use this wood image. It's free from texture.ninja. It's not seamless, it doesn't tile. We have no PBR maps. I just want you to know how simple you can keep this in a minimal scenario. Plug it into Diffuse. You already have some edge breakup, but we can make it even better. Let's use the same image for the roughness. Now that's a little glossy for my taste, so we could use a map range node to play with the values. We could even use it for a normal map if we use a bump node and plug it into height. Let's use the same image again and plug it into texture under edge. That just breaks up the edge detail. And again, you can use a map range or a color ramp to adjust this original image. We have a coverage slider, strength, and can choose the hue, saturation, and value for the edge. Let's just make our edges a bit brighter and maybe less saturated. We also have a roughness edge offset to make edges more rough or more glossy. By default, there's automatic edge beveling going on, and you can increase or decrease that radius. That just softens this hard edge. There's also this normal edge detail slider, which uses your input edge texture to generate extra bumpiness along the edges. Now to bake all the maps, just press F12 to render. It'll create diffuse, roughness, normal, metallic edge, and even an ID map. And it already saved all the files in a new folder called output wherever your blend file was saved. You can rename this folder to avoid it being saved over. I wrote an article on RileyB3D.com this week comparing some hotspot mapping plugins in Blender. I'll link that in the description if you want to take a deeper dive. But for this, we'll just use the free Dream UV plugin. The interface is like five buttons total. It's really simple. Just choose your object. For me, I'll use this cube in the sample object collection, add a new material, and plug in the maps we just baked. Now we need to hotspot map this thing. Open up Dream UV after installing, it's just in the end panel. Our texture is 4096. For the trim template, select trim template four, because remember we baked using the fourth template collection up here. For material, select the one you just plugged your maps into. Then press hotspot. And just like that, we have edge detail wherever we had a seam. Not only that, but we even have nice beveled normal information. And that's without having a high poly object to bake from. The best part is we never left Blender, not even to make our trim sheet. To switch it up, press the button again and again. Play around with different image inputs. I usually get away with a single image, then just use the map range or RGB curves to change the images to work with the other inputs like metal or roughness. Try different images for the edge texture, play with the values and just have fun. Now the caveat is this technique works best on geometry that has 90 degree or near 90 degree angles, which ends up being like most of the stuff people build. So there's that going for us. Shelves, doors, windows, desks, chairs, pillars, walls, boxes, uh, you get the idea. Go pick up the blend file over on my Patreon, link in the description. Also make sure to check for updates of the tool that'll just be posted on my Patreon. This is just version one, but I already have more features planned. And thanks for watching, subscribe. Oh, and special thanks to Reamer. He's a friend of mine. Check out his channel in the description to watch his prop and environment process videos in Blender. I find him to be super relaxing to watch. Reamer was a big part of helping me get my trim sheet workflow sorted and was just a ton of help on Discord, so thanks. Also, special thanks to these Patreon supporters. I appreciate you keeping this content free for everyone. All right, thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.